Hi friends, welcome to the Silver Star Forest. My name is Kristen, I'm the Witch of Silver Star Forest and I'm so excited that you are here. We have a gigantic sagegoddess.com crystal haul. If you've seen my other videos, you know that I really love this company. I really love the uh, owner, I hate to kind of use that term, but um, Athena is amazing. She does new moon rituals every month. She does full moon rituals every month. She does the Sabbath. She does the um, solstice. The I mean, she has re free rituals all the time. Plus, she does crystal master classes, a soul, soul shift class, class, which is several times a month, and then just every day has encouraging posts uh, for the spiritual community. So I love supporting her. This is actually three orders. So I combined them into two boxes because my husband was starting to get a little cranky <laughs> about all my crystals arriving. So I'm going to do this fairly quickly because there's a lot to get to. But you can always go to the Sage Goddess website and look up all sorts of great information about any crystals that you would like more information about. She has a ton of um, videos on YouTube that teach you how to use crystals and um, what crystals are good for different intentions and things like that. So do check out their YouTube channel. The first thing I have is a bloodstone wand. And I believe this is the medium and they put a little um, clay on the end. Everything's packaged beautifully. So nothing happened happens to the point. And I love Bloodstone. I'm very drawn to it. And when I saw it in a wand format, I was super excited about that. So that's first of all, <laughs> yes, that's Bloodstone. And I'm going to show you just one card because I want you to know what great information they have on there. And the website for the item descriptions goes into much more detail about the benefits of each product. So here's our Bloodstone card. And that's just general. That's not specific to this shape, to this tool, anything like that. That's just the general information about Bloodstone. I keep all of these so I can refer back to them. And then if you are under 18, please look away. Five, four, three, two, one. This is a clear quartz pimmel. And the idea of a pimmel is to honor the masculine personality trait, what have you. So I need to tune in more to my masculine side. So that is the reason that I bought this. And then gigantic palm stone that is absolutely gorgeous. I hope I'll be able to get a close up of this. I got new software and I'm still trying to figure out some of the editing. We'll go over here, but it has this is the picture of Athena in, I don't know if this, this month, this week, um, 
and they always include, she has a little note on the back, a free perfume sample. She has a perfumery, which I am starting to really love. I have loved perfume for a while, but there is something about the intention that she puts into everything that she creates in the perfumery. Okay, so this is actually the hand sanitizer, which is called Pure Purelitizer. And I have some of this and really enjoy it. We also had a free gift with purchase, which is the Matrolina Linea. So that's a little dram of perfume. <coughs> then we have the Trulite, Trulatite. This has a gorgeous cut on it. Look at that corner. It's like a perfect 90 degree corner. This reminded me a lot of Aquamarine, which is my first stone. Uh, this is a manifestation stone. Um, which is probably the reason. <laughs> and then we have the Celestial Scepter Quartz, which is a rare form of smoky quartz um, useful in shamanic work. And if I remember correctly, this is with, yes, Amethyst. So you can see that it's smoky quartz down here and Amethyst on the top there. So a really beautiful specimen piece there. And next, I seem to be collecting a lot of this. This is a banded, a oh, dream or banded amethyst. I love amethyst or anything purple anyway, but there's something about the banding um, on there, um, ethically and responsibly source and then it is soaked in dragon's blood resin. I love dragon's blood. It's still very sagey, which I don't particularly care for, um, but it still does good things. So me disguising it in dragon's blood. And then I just got a sage goddess lens cleaner because I can't have enough lens cleaners or screen cleaners. Then I have a new moon ritual set, which is particular to this month, June 2021's new moon. And I am really excited about the ritual that she is doing for June. So while I don't always buy the new moon kits. I like to have the full moon kits, but can't always get there because they sell out quickly. This is candle divination and I love candles anyway. And then you add divination to it and I'm all in. So we have the card here and this one is about the um, how the flame reacts what um, what shapes the wax may become um, and and reading into that. So I hadn't I have not studied candle divination at all up to this point. So this is going to be totally new for me and I'm really excited about that. We have this pretty little almost um, periwinkle 
blue color and then a rose color candle. And there's usually a mat of some sort on canvas that you can frame or use as a crystal gridding mat. We've got all the elements here. And candles are, which I didn't really even think about before, representative of all of the elements. You have the smoke uh, for air, the melted wax is water, the, am I gonna remember them all? I just read it once. Um, I'm not gonna remember. If I do, I'll add it somewhere or speak out. Then we have a larger ritual candle, which is this beautiful gold and burgundy color with a um, goddess spiral charm on there, tied on with a nice ribbon. I, you know what all these pieces are before you order it. It's not part of a mystery or anything. And then we have an anointing oil or perfume, Flame of Grace. Sometimes you can choose, um, no, you can't, you can't ever choose. <laughs> you do know ahead of time also what is in, oh yes, I know what I was gonna say now, wow. To just get the perfume or just get candles, things, individual pieces of the ritual set. If there's something you don't care for, if the perfume doesn't appeal to you or you already have something in it. Then we have our herbs, which it looks like there's a lot of roses in there, probably some lavender. Guessing we're going to dress candles or something. And then look at that beauty. This is what we are going to fill with water and drip our candles into. And I think it's just gonna be a beautiful altar bowl after or offering bowl once I get done with that ritual. So that's everything in the new moon set. Put all these back very carefully. Also for special purchases, she'll often include um, additional information. Oh, you know what's funny? There's like no crystals in that set. Um, oh, okay, this was about the palm stone. That's where I couldn't, why I couldn't find the card. It's Lepidolite, Pink Tourmaline, Smoky Quartz, and Clevelandite. Um, so this was a, a, an extra special purchase and a lot of information about that. But what I was really saying is that oftentimes um, various kits will have something like this included. So if there's descriptions of the stones, anything like that, that are um, extra. But like I said, uh, that's like the first ritual kit I've received that didn't have crystals in it. I broke my wand. Oh my gosh. Okay. Dang it. I haven't even got to use it yet. Okay. Well, That'll show me to be careful. Okay, we're gonna work on how to repair that puppy because I'm in love with it and I still need to use it. 
box number two. This was the picture for that one. We have another kit here. Uh, first up for crystals, we have the Apophyllite. And this is Stone of and Collective Consciousness. It's almost like a little mini iceberg. Very cool. Our free perfume in this one was Vanilla Moon, which I adore. Hmm, I have empty bags. I must have put something to work already. Not sure what. Um, this is a Tibetan Trinity Tourmaline. And this is a rare gem growing naturally in the triangular shape. Put it up there. Uh, energy of black tourmaline with the manifestation powers of the triangle. Very cool. Um, I think this is another combo stone I needed to needed to have. Yes, this is clear quartz and aquamarine. Very cool. A lot of these crystals grow together, but they're not necessarily mined together. So this does not have the combo meaning in it. If I um, can find that, I'll put it down below here for you. Oh, these are part of the ritual kit. So now we are to the Litha ritual kit. And like I said, she does rituals for all the Sabbaths and solstices and just about everything in between. Here is our canvas. I emerge into the light, fully embracing all that is possible. Here by Midsummer Magic, I am rejuvenated in mind, body, and spirit. I've unwrapped all of this already, in case you can tell. Um, one of the reasons I really wanted the Litha um, ritual, aside from welcoming summer, is the sweet grass loop. I love sweet grass. I was not even aware of it until I started <clears throat> venturing into my witchcraft. And there's something really magical about it. And I understand that it's actually grown in eastern Washington. So... I don't know that I can harvest it. I need to look into that more, but I may have to, um, while we're rock hounding in Eastern Washington, also see if I can't um, find some sweet grass. Then this is the other thing that really, I'm gonna try not to drop this one, really, really wanted. So this is a selenite wand with, Copper wire, and I believe these are rubies and garnets. Absolutely gorgeous. So, so excited about that. Beautiful. 
that back in here very carefully. And maybe that's what one of these were for. We're gonna put it in here, even if this isn't the right one. And then, so, ritual candle. Mmm. That's really nice. I can't place it right now. I'll look it up and I'll let you know. Not a lot of crystals in this overall box, but we have the Ceridwin Perfume Anointing Oil and a Vervain Mist. And again, she incorporates all of these pieces into a ritual that she does for anyone on YouTube Live. And then, Three, <laughs> three little postcards. We have sunset, moon, and sunrise. All of the art is creating, created by her team as well. So again, besides the selenite wand, we didn't have a lot of crystals in this particular set. Not that there's anything wrong with that. And a selenite wand with all those goodies on it is awesome. I also have bought a bunch of perfume. I think I'm going to save this for, these are all samples save these for another video because I think you're probably here with crystals. And then I also got more of the Sage Goddess temporary tattoos, which I also love. They last a really, really long time. This was... Oh yeah, I just put this one inside it as well. Love the moons. I think I ended up with two more of those, which I use that one a lot. Yeah, these are her favorites. So we have moons again, and then the mandalas. Mandalas, man. Okay, so that is my major crystal sage goddess haul. Um, it's probably gonna be a while till my next one. Uh, if you're interested in seeing my crystal collection, please let me know down below. It's growing faster than it should be, but I would love to share it with you if I hear enough interest in that. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to use all these. I'm loving my crystals and my um, purchases. So highly recommend Sage Goddess. If you are in a big hurry, they're not particularly fast at shipping, but they're a small company. They package everything lovingly by hand. They um, wrap everything super nicely and they have wonderful customer service. So that all counts for a whole lot. I hope you had a good time. If you did, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button so you don't miss the next ones. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. I so, so appreciate you.